today was an absolutely crazy day for cryptocurrencies. And that's saying something because some nonsense is always going on. Most of you already know. Today, the SEC's Twitter account was hacked. The tweet went out that the Bitcoin ETF was approved. And then the dark overlord himself, Gary Gensler, comes out of the woodworks to tweet, hey, the Twitter account was compromised, and that's an unauthorized tweet. No such approval has happened, at least yet. We're going to dig into it. So this gets interesting, and I think there's more here than's being reported. When we take a look at Gary Gensler's wording. The SEC Gov Twitter account was compromised, and an unauthorized tweet was posted. Not a fraudulent one. Not a made-up tweet. It was just unauthorized to be posted. I believe that they had that sucker queued up for Wednesday, and someone gained access to the account and went ahead and posted it. We have a lot of big accounts that are noticing that, thinking that's what's going on. We'll go over it. Great post here by Adam. He says, my guess is the SEC's account was both hacked and the tweet was real. I absolutely agree. The hacker first tweeted and then deleted just a ticker. And that's the first thing I saw. I looked down at my phone and I saw from the SEC, hashtag BTC. That was it. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? When I went to, to X, that tweet was gone, but replaced by a very official looking tweet. Now, if this is some sophisticated individual that's trying to game the market and crafted up a perfect you know, announcement that looks just like something the SEC would say, well, would they first tweet out a meme type of deal here and mess with the, everyone, joke with them a little bit, and then try to fool them? Probably not. This seems like this is just some jokester that gained access to the account and then found the real announcement and ended up posting that. And this is what Adam's saying. They likely found the tweet with the announcement graphic and Gensler's quote in the draft folder. Hacker... Wouldn't be someone to meticulously plan and prepare a graphic that's in the style of the SEC, but also be dumb enough just to tweet out a ticker like it's a meme. So I think Adam's absolutely on the correct track here. We see Mario thinking the same thing. Does this look like a fake tweet from a hack or a pre-prepared tweet accidentally posted? So that's the other thing. Maybe there was no uh, hacker. Maybe the SEC themselves accidentally posted a little bit early. Very possible. And they are too ashamed to admit it. And so they claimed, oh, we were hacked, we were compromised. You know, we don't really know. I'm sure we never will. X is saying the following. Look, we looked into it. They've done their preliminary investigation. They're saying, look, it was nothing on our end. It was some sort of breach due to uh, someone obtaining the SEC's phone number that's associated to the account. So some sort of SIM swap uh, uh, breach here. Now, the one thing I would say, I don't think X makes it clear enough. They leaked out 200 plus users their name, address, phone number. And if you have those phone numbers tied to your account at all, you're, you're in danger. You're a target and you could be overtaken. Now, I know you shouldn't use phone numbers as a two-factor authentication, but they really need to make a very clear announcement. If you were using a phone number January 2023, you better switch it because someone could get access uh, to your account. That's probably what happened here. You can get this information easily. It's very cheap. It's a couple bucks. You get every user on Twitter, and then you go and do a SIM swap uh, attack. And if they're not using a two-factor authentication, and I think even if they are, I think there's a, a problem with X's security here. But let's just say they're not. They're just using their phone. You can gain access to that account and do something, some nonsense like this. So, you know, if it's true, the SEC was only using their phone number for 2FA, that's not, you know, secure at all. They should know better. Um, they should have this more secure because this isn't just some rinky-dink Twitter account. This is very serious, and we see why. I mean, the price of Bitcoin went running up and then went cratering. And someone made an awful lot of money if it's not just for the lulls, like Adam, really, I'm thinking. If this was really some sort of coordinated attack to gain the market, well, Mission successful. Someone made a lot of money today. And likely, in part, due to poor security at X, I would say, but definitely also on the SEC side as well. So we'll know tomorrow. Look, they can't de delay this thing anymore. It's the 10th. Kathy Wood, uh, you know, her application is up. They either have to approve it or deny it. And that will tell us a lot. Are they going to push this through the finish line? I think they will, especially because of the players involved. Well, we just got one more day to find out. No reason for me to be a fortune teller. 
Let's see how it plays out tomorrow. And then how does the price of Bitcoin and crypto do once we cross, cross that finish line? And there's probably nothing else in front of us until the happening. Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like, please subscribe. The Revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.